Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be explaining Will an SSD make your old computer run much faster? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Alright, you may have seen the Dell Optiplex 380 in a couple past videos. If you have not seen those videos, I go check them out. They're actually pretty cool and I appreciate you all for watching. Alright, so what we got going on in here, this is our, again, our Dell Optiplex 380. It's an Intel Core 2 Duo. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM or 2, I believe it's 4. 2 gigs doesn't help us much, even though my, uh, my Surface is only 2 gigs and it's from the 1970s, practically, so. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to install this SSD. SSD, it's, there's no moving components in it at all. It's solid state. It's basically like your phone. It starts and then the... the you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like a phone. And, or at least the memory that's inside your phone, or at least, at least for my, my old Surface, I think I have EMMC memory. It's why it's, you can see it's, 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 it's slower than the last. So what we're going to do is we're going to install our SSD right alongside our HDD. I'm going to do a boot Windows 10, do a boot Windows 10 on the SSD and the hard drive to show you which one is slower and which one is much faster. This computer has probably never ever even computed Windows 10 before, and this is gonna be its first time. This computer was designed for Vista, I believe. It doesn't say it, but I believe it was designed for Vista. I'm gonna get all the information and everything to get it ready to go, and uh, well, here we go. All right, so we got the latest version of Windows 10 22H2 running on the Dell Optiplex 380 from 2009. Actually, if you were helped uh, me figure that out, 2009. Um, press the power button. Here we go. Let's see how fast. Uh, and opened up a file document literally that fast. That's pretty sweet. And this doesn't even have the graphics driver installed yet. Look how fast that's able to move. That's Windows 10. 22H2 running on a Dell Optiplex 380 from 2009. That's pretty impressive. Now, that's on that 2.5 inch SSD. All right, don't mind the noise. The garage door is open. All right, we're gonna boot into Windows 10. See how long it's gonna take. see what a difference that the SSD already makes. Really slow. You can already tell how long it's taking to load into the welcome screen. Now I will click on open file explorer like I did on the SSD and it popped right up. And uh, still thinking on what to do. <laughs> But it does work though, it does work efficiently once it gets running of course, but just the boot times, just the overall time is just so, it's so much better, so much better. All right, well, installing an SSD. SSDs are a lot faster. This is the one I installed. This one you can actually get at a Best Buy for around $17. It's actually not a bad deal at all. It's a PNY, it's 120 gigabyte. You can actually get them for a lot cheaper now, I imagine. This one I got back around 20, I think I got like in the beginning of 2023, so not too bad at all. Uh, you see how fast it booted, and uh, well, there you go. I hope I uh, explained everything right in this video. I made some things that may have been a little weird, and I apologize for those weird oddities. But uh, yeah, okay, all right, well, hey, SSDs, they're great to have. And uh, for 20 bucks, it can literally make your computer a whole lot faster. And... Another thing you could do too is that that if you have another SATA cord that, or another bay as well, you could you could put that hard drive side by side in your uh, in your main computer and you could actually use it as a storage drive. You could use the the into the, the spinning drive as a storage drive and this one as like your boot drive with some of your games or whatever you want to do on it. 
But for basic computing, it does great. But yeah, SSD will speed up your computer, and I think they are a great purchase, especially right now, because SSD prices are coming down, which is a really great thing. So I apologize for shaking the camera all around. I hope I explained everything properly. I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I know I didn't install Windows Vista, but we are going to do that on an SSD as well, just to see how extremely even more fast it is, or a couple other things. But we'll do some stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll play around here. All right, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.